just got to the PGA show. Come on with me. On this episode, we're heading to Orlando, Florida to check out the PGA show. It can be overwhelming because there is so much to do and see here. So I thought I'd break down my most interesting finds for you when it comes to technology, apparel, and club manufacturing. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. All right, just made it to the PGA show day three here, and I'm here with Amy Hancock from Royal Hi. Albatross is going to take us through their new 2020 collection. Yes, yes. Uh, so basically, this is our new product for 2020 in the men's collection. This is called our Strider. Okay. Um, basically, it's a little different from our usual classic, real solid, vibrant sole se sneakers that we're known for. Yeah. Um, obviously, golf is going um, a bit more into street style, fashion. Casual, yep, 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 absolutely. Casual. So we wanted to create our own. So basically, um, this, uh, we've got a combination of suede, leather, and mesh uppers. Um, but these guys are a lot more flexible uh, than our solids or vibram soles. Sure. Um, and they're basically designed so that you can wear them, you can slip them on straight to the course, and then go wherever you want after. Cool. You know, linked to life. Yeah, right. Sure, yeah. absolutely. And it's all about quality as well, instead of quantity. Sure. So all our shoes are handmade uh, in Italy and Portugal, uh, British designed by Alex in our London office. Mm -hmm. So there's a real nice story to them. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's, let's take a look at some more yeah, of these cool. as well. So this is called the Driver. Okay. This is slightly different, a bit more of a traditional looking uh, looking shoe. Um, and how much? A bit of a different sole. Again, it's a lot more right. flexible than our Vibram sole. Um, I have shoes that look just like this, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Same color yeah. and everything. Well, we're really excited, but this is much more classic. So color. I would totally yeah. wear. I would totally wear that on the golf course. Those and again, are like my you know, we can't shoes. resist but adding a little bit of a oh, yeah. bright blue in there. That is nice. Um, we're very excited about this one. This is going to be our limited edition um, that we're going to bring out for the Masters. It's Augusta color inspired. Perfect. Yep, got the little yellow uh, stitching even yes, against the exactly. green. That's perfect. Yeah, this is uh, going to be called the Driver 63. Okay. Uh, there's only going to be a certain amount of numbers of these made. So, right. Uh, we're wow. Pretty, yeah, 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 exactly. Oh. How do you get your hands on one of these then? Well, stay tuned editions. and we'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you'll probably see a stripe coming through on a lot of these products. Uh, right. So let me tell you a little bit about the stripe. Um, we basically ha um, sort of had this bit of detailing on some of the products. It wasn't really in your face, it wasn't there, and we kind of decided, look, if we're going to go forward with it, let's make it big. Right. Uh, so we, uh, Playing it safe is the riskiest yeah, move, I exactly. say. Yeah, exactly. And we wanted, to, we wanted it to be iconic, and we wanted right. it to be known for it. Yeah. So basically, the whole point is, when you see this stripe, you'll know it's Royal Albatross. Nice. Um, okay, cool. Without having to see the logo. Yeah. So we're really excited like about that. rolling that out. I like this two-tone. Like, you got a lot of two-tones going on. Yeah. I like this one here. I think Signature Vibram mm -hmm. Orange Soul. Love that. Yeah. I think Alex as well, she's, she's not afraid of doing things a bit different, you right. know? Yeah. Um, putting colors that you wouldn't necessarily put together, but they just work. Sure. Like she's really got an amazing eye. Right. Um, and again, you know, we've got some of the red ones, so you can do have the a bit more out there colors um, that pop on the golf course, but then we've got your simple signature white and black. Right. Everybody, everybody loves the white and black. Matches everything. These were men's, but I'll take you around to the ladies. Okay. Uh, so these are our uh, ladies' vibrant sneaker soles. So we're known for our signature orange vibrant sole. Yep. Uh, these ones, are, as I was saying before, not like the hybrid. These ones are a lot more solid. They're um, a lot more of like an investment shoe. Sure. Um, they're in incredible on the golf course, the traction. Okay, and I'll take you around here. These are kind of like a, a mix between like dress and golf. Yes, exactly. Like That's that exactly on. what we're going for. Yeah. We want we want people to be able to slip them on, uh, go to the golf course, be able to go out for dinner after, go to the golf club, go out shopping. You know, the point is you don't have to change your options. Right. Um, these ones are very innovative. These ones are runways. We launched these last year. Uh, and basically, um, they're a ladies slip on golf shoe. Okay. Um, we have our soles here. That are, these are our own very own Royal Albatross soles, uh, specifically di designed for the runway. Uh, we developed them a little bit more slightly this year, and we bought this part up to mm -hmm. make them into a bit more of a loafer. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, these ones are a bit nice, a bit more dressier. It's interesting like vibe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. totally British, too, I think. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. That's Especially great. The, and the colours as well. They're so, yeah. you know, yeah, very, they're very sweet. And Absolutely. Yeah, this stuff is made in your, in your homeland, so you've got to have a little yes, special yeah. affinity for it, huh? I mean, it looks great. Yeah. It's very, very classy. Yeah. Um, I need you to try one on and see how they feel, though. bring you some fresh white kicks. I don't know if I'm cool enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These ones are Proco Biancos. These guys are very popular. They're classics. They're a carryover from last year. Probably the right size for me. Yeah. You look good in those, Pat. 
I think with these uh, kind of sneakers, it's, I mean, not even just in the white, in any colour, they, I mean, they look so smart, but they also look, they also work casually too. Right. But we've seen, we've had people tagging us, you know, weddings in them, things like that. It just shows just how versatile they are. Right. So a lot of our other shoes are, have, you know, that, those gorgeous sort of suede and mesh. Yeah. They look really good on our stripe. Pat, I think you found your, your new shoes, man. You look good in those. I, I wouldn't want to wear them on the course, I guess I've got them dirty. I know. <laughs> definitely a summer golf shoe, that's Take a little, take a spin around in them. Cool. What do you think, man? I like them. Got a winner there? They look great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably wear them out to the bar more than the court. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what we like here. Would you like to see our. Yeah, you sent, you sent me a wallet in the mail, which I thought was really. Yes. It smelled good. Like. <laughs> it's weird to say, but like when I open the envelope, when I open the envelope, it just like wafted in my nose. So yeah, let's see, let's see some of the other accessories you guys have. So the whole idea behind our invite wallet is um, for tournaments. Uh, basically, we wanted to create this package, and uh, what we will do is on site emboss for you. Um, Alex has designed all these beautiful leather goods. We've got leather canvas, everything for women, for men, um, all the way from small little wallets uh, to big beautiful uh, tote bags. Nice. So basically, we would have somebody on site at tournaments, and depending what the club wants, um, we can have members uh, have their initials embossed on site. Uh, the club can uh, we can uh, get a die made of their logo. We can emboss their logo. It's fantastic. I could see a lot of private clubs having an event at their property. Yeah. Maybe having the members come all get something unique. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And it's super interactive as well. Love and it's that. something. The difference is we didn't want to do just golf, uh, uh, golf gloves, golf bags. You know, this is something that people can work, have every day. Right. And you know, people at these tournaments, they're going to be traveling. They're people. They, they need the bags, they need the wallets, they need durable, good quality things. Right. So uh, we design things that are going to stay with these people forever. Yeah, I, like the current wallet I've had, it's good quality. I've had it for yeah. eight years. I can't get rid of it. But <laughs> I think it's finally time to, to exactly. put, put my cards into the new one because yeah, I it's beautiful. Yeah, exactly, I can't wait to see it. It'll be my next wallet for the decade. <laughs> it's 2020, new decade or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. What was your initial? G-A. So you line up the... Because that, that, it can get quite confusing when you change the sure. angle in, of the, um, the wallet. <laughs> right. So they actually mark a little line there so you know exactly which way up the, uh, the letter should be. to hit the same spot just a minute. Yeah, it's great, man. Thank you. All right. My new Royal Albatross. All right, I'm done with this one. I've had this thing for eight years. It's all coming out. New man. Thank you, Royal Albatross. I'm here with Tiffany Depani of Argolf to learn a little bit about about it because I don't know anything about it so tell me about it but clearly it's a legend and I'm missing out so it is. what am I missing, missing out. all right so, our golf started um, back in 2010 making putters okay and the top of the line putters so our owner Olivier his father owned a manufacturing company in France called okay. Armor Mecca yeah they manufacture parts for Aerobus NASA um, Boeing okay some of the most intricate parts like valves and um, other tubings that there's no room for error when wow. you're putting that on a spaceship. Sure, yeah, of right? course. <laughs> so they have the software by Siemens, and it's the best technology out there for milling. Okay. So every Argolf cutter, and now iron, is made with the same materials that are on the spaceship and the same machines that make those, those um, parts. So, cool. and because they're located outside of the Brasilon Forest, are you familiar with King Arthur and all of course. that? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. So all of that happened in the Brasilon Forest, right. forest, and where they are in France is right there. Oh wow. So every putter, uh, when they were born, they're all given names of legends. So you have Merlin, Arthur, oh, Excalibur. I did see that, that's very cool. Right. So, yeah. Um, that's where we have those, and they all have a little story behind them. Nice. And so last year we introduced the F-18 iron. I know. These things really caught my eye. Let's yes. Let's grab one of them. Sure. So 
The F-18s are brand new this year. Last year was so successful with the F-15s. They continued with the prototypes. It's cavity back, um, completely forged, made from the highest quality stainless steel on the machines. Um, ultimate precision, forgiveness, accuracy. For the, I would say mid handicapper, um, but mm -hmm. still can be played by the low handicapper because of its accuracy and precision. Right. Yep. Um, and still forgiving enough for that higher handicapper. But the gem this year is the M18. Those These things are, are really pretty, yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. Two works of art. These are milled um, from one solid piece of stainless steel. Look at that. Which is also very um, unique to our company with our putters as well. Every putter is made from one solid block of metal. Okay. So, and as well as our M18, they are completely milled yep. from hosel down, one solid piece. This is how it comes out. There's no casting, there's no molding. They're all individually made. Wow. And were they laser cut or something? And yes, on the, the Mecca Armor has a software by Siemens. They're one of the few manufacturing companies in the world to have this advanced, sophisticated software. And so that is what actually does all the engraving and the milling on these products. Interesting, wow. So, and is, yeah. is this taking place at the factory in France, or is it in Jupiter? I know you guys are based there. All of the milling of the parts and pieces are done in France, mm -hmm. and the design and the assembly is all done in Jupiter. This is from Homer Collection, and we've uh, taken inspiration from uh, his life and his uh, marriage and his time in the Navy and all the, the important things in his life to uh, add some details and to consider little uh, discoverables to the collection, but right. also take what he would have worn back in the day and modernize sure. it a little bit. I've been in his closet, believe it or not. In uh, Bay Hill or La Trobe? La Trobe. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were just at Bay Hill yesterday. Yeah. And we were at his office. Cool. We left the office exactly yep. how he left, left it. it. Yeah. Um, his locker's there, too. Yeah, his locker's still there. And he also has a closet in there that's still there. Yeah. And that uh, cardigan and, and uh, button down are actually from that closet. So those yeah. are, those are cool. his items that he wore. That's the pin all the employees wear. Yeah. 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 So those are that's like the actual things on all the work. Right. Um, I like this because he was. Huge, and he started yep. kind of private aviation. For yeah, celebrity uh, athletes. That's pretty cool. He owned um, three planes in his or one, one plane was in his lifetime, but he learned to fly on a Cessna, I think. And yeah, then he had a Citation X. And then right. The third Citation one. was the was the famous one. Yeah. So yeah. we imported the three planes on here with like a cool. style short. Nice. Um, nice. We did, of course, have to do a cardigan. Right. Uh, that's the yeah. That's, that's, that's the main right there. Classic. Yeah. 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 Um, and then uh, we had a brown leather slip-on shoe. And then for the uh, API tournament behind you, we have an N1 AP shoe. So N1 AP was his, his tail number. Nice. And then you can see this little, little really cool. uh, this tunnel window. Uh, oh, yeah. On there. <laughs> nice. Um, and then the, uh, the light blue out. So, who, so will we, who should we look for who might be wearing Ricky these? Ricky will be wearing this. Ricky will be wearing yeah. those. Cool. Yeah, so that should be really cool. Yep. Um, we also have, have a bunch of limited edition hats that we'll, we'll release at the tournament. Yep. Um, so we've got our P hats, we've got some Arnold Palmer uh, with the umbrella rope hats, uh, the Arnie's Army camo as right. well. Cool. So uh, there's a lot going on with it. It'll, it'll yeah. be. Um, I like this one. This is pretty cool. Yeah, super cool. That looks like a Ricky Fowler hat right there. Oh yeah, for sure. Boom. They are, first of all, just absolutely stunning. How long of a process was it to put this together? Well, for concept specifically, it was a, it was a long process that we you know, really enjoyed and we started with C16. So you might remember C16 model. Yeah, yeah. We came out with that a few years back, kind of test the waters of that super premium category. And uh, you know, we we found that the marketplace was very open to that. Sure. You know, everyone that uh, is a Titleist customer, you know, the discerning customer, they want they want the best performing products, and they're they're not opposed to spending some money on it if they know it's going to do something that you know they can't get anywhere else. Right. And so what we did is we went a little bit further with concept, the concept materials that we're using in the face. So it's the thinnest unsupported face in golf. Um, the material is, to, to date, I think it's only used in fighter jet landing gear. Really? It's wow. the only other application <laughs> that I've seen that, that it's material It's a type of steel? Used. It's a type of steel. Yeah. 
and it blends a very, very high yield strength with a very high tensile strength. Okay. So that combination allows us to make it very thin. Um, we get a lot of rebound on the face without the, um, it's, it's more resistance to cracking. Yeah. Is it right? a forged process? The, the face is forged. Okay, the face and is forged. We won't advertise okay. it as forged because right. we feel that's a little bit okay. misleading to sure. the consumer to right. say that this product is But you're going to have that product. feel that you would expect out of a forged. But the face is forged. Okay. It's a very thin piece of steel. It yeah. is forged. Yeah. Right. So it's still a, a loud, you know, popping product with sure. Concept One. So okay. this, is, this is the bread and butter of the Concept line. And, um, everything that's built around concept is with this in mind. Maximum distance, maximum forgiveness, maximum height with a very playable descent angle. Okay. We didn't want to make a seven iron that, you know, people said, hey, this is the longest seven iron in the world. And right. fly through the air like a five iron. Sure. We want that seven iron to hold the green like a seven iron should. Right. So we've done it with this product. Okay. The new putter line at the show uh, this year is the Heckler mm -hmm. line. It's beautiful, first of all. Um, yeah, so you'll notice the first thing you'll, you'll pick up on is the color and the black right. uh, copper and black color blocking. Right. Um, it reminds me then, of the old uh, I-2s that were, the, the, you know, harkens back yeah, to those copper days. We definitely, we yeah. definitely have a history with copper, that's cool. for sure. Yeah. And then it's got a flat metallic face. So That's pretty rare these days, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so it, this line was designed to complement the Sigma 2 line. Mm -hmm. So the Sigma 2 has a really soft insert. Right. So... Um, and we wanted to provide something that was a little firmer and more responsive to complement that, right? There's some players who really gravitate toward that softer feel. Others, they really desire that, you know, firmer acoustic. And so anytime you put grooves on a putter um, or anything like that, it softens it up. Sure. So by going completely flat and metallic, it pro provides that response. Right. Um, it has, I think I said I had, it has eight models in it mm -hmm. uh, and then one arm lock model. And then all of them come standard with our adjustable length. So it's an integrated adjustable length into the grip and the shaft. Oh, interesting. And so you use this tool. Yeah, how does it work? And so you use this tool and you can adjust the length by turning it. And you can see the scale on the back there. Nice. That's Anywhere cool. from 32 to 36 inches. Right. So when somebody's in the store and, and looking to you know buy a new putter, right. they can get the length perfect length for them in the store it just looks very well balanced though i mean the and the lines are gorgeous so tell, tell me what went into the technology of coming up with this shape here yeah so we implemented a, a high pressure aluminum casting process for all the mallets and yeah. so what that gave our designers the opportunity to do is really move mass around in such a way that we could in some cases double the moment of inertia or the wow. forgiveness of the putter yeah. uh, with the with the mallets and so with this in particular this is a steel component here so all that weights on the outer side of the, this Floki model here which is a new model in the Hepler line right and then this is the aluminum piece that was you can see all the detail we were able to yeah it's pretty uh, get with this aluminum yeah. casting this right. aluminum pressure casting you've got the three four different finished surfaces right on this, this is typical yeah. of like a machine part and so right. being able to achieve this with you know a casting process yeah uh, was a was a big advance for us and allowed again the designers to do a lot of neat things with this line very cool how do you decide okay we're going to test this out or we're going to try this where are you getting those ideas where are they sparking from yeah so we do i mean anybody in the company is encouraged to submit ideas mm -hmm. so we have a basically a shark tank meeting oh that's great where yeah. uh, you have a number of key stakeholders in the company get sure. together and kind of say okay here's the ideas so like a concept brief yeah kind of outlines right. hey let's make a driver out of <laughs> whatever yeah name uh, your material here sure or, you know right. and because i think it'll do this and right so we'll take those ideas and then we'll evaluate them and then the ones that show promise and maybe address a, a need that we have we then get those our innovation team working on those and trying to develop a proof of concept and say okay sure is there some merit in this technology right this idea yeah or maybe do we need to move on? So I always find that intriguing. Fast, but it's cool. Yeah, you do want to do that in this industry, right? Yeah. So, and then you're, you're always kind of have the push of, of, of coming out with the next new thing, I bet, which is yeah. constant, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're always trying to help people play better golf. Yeah. And, and again, we have a pretty strong mandate from, uh, from our CEO and president that we're not putting anything out unless it's better than the, than the right. previous version. Yeah. So it's a, you know, we keep setting the bar higher and higher for ourselves. <laughs>